The question is, how do you, obviously you have to approach how you teach differently depending on the ability level of the members you are teaching. I have never had the experience personally of working with and teaching people anywhere close to the level of the Blue Devils because typically, you know, the average age of the core is like 21.4 or something or something ridiculous <laughs> almost every year. Like, yeah. how – I don't even know how to phrase this. Like, how do you approach the day-to-day when your member base is so experienced, when, so right, talented? When they can already play. They can already play their instruments extremely well. Like, how do you approach that? Like, what do you, is it more about managing mental state versus physical capability, making sure they're just like thinking about things the right way? Hopefully that question is answerable in the way I phrased it, but. 100%. And it's a very good question. And I think it is what separates uh, good instructional staff, especially over the summer um, from mediocre. Uh, so it's a combination of all those things. Um, it really is uh, for the summer. I was trying to think. I, I almost think I forgot the question in a way. I was, about to <laughs> I was wordy. I, I rambled for yeah. a little while. I can. Uh, it's it's just like how do you approach the day to day when you're working with members of such a high That's level? Right. How do you right. approach the day to day? And They're, they can all play already. So yes. you're not in there like, hey man, could you you've got to get your pinky on the st-. like? They can all play and they should be kind of doing all that. So when you're at that level, a lot of what it is, is like, that's like saying, well, the Patriots, they already had Brady. Well, they did before. Like, so do they need to practice? And it's like, well, so what are they doing at practice at a professional level? And I tried to model a lot of what we did off sports teams because they do, they have a season. There are, it's short. There is a preseason. There is the regular season. There's a postseason. Then there's the off season. And how do you deal with that yearly thing? For us at Blue Devils, obviously you get in and or at any high level, you know, you've got to understand where you're at in the season. And then you've got to realize, I personally look at my own um, brain. I'm like, if I'm getting zoned out, if I'm not focused or I'm bored or whatever, they're probably bored. If I'm talking too much, they're not listening. Uh, if they look tired, they're probably not giving their best effort. So at that level, when I'm with my younger kids, I just want them to do it again. They need the reps so that they can take the information and do something with it. These guys already have that. So what we're really trying to do is we're trying to get the best reps out of them. So even in the early season, we'll say, all right, we're going to do four reps of this. And that's it. You know, just give them, let them know. I think the big thing is with 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 a, a mature group is tell them the plan. So if they're that good, they're already thinking about how they're planning their rehearsal. So allow them to cater their reps their effort, their energy, their mind around the schedule so that they can give you which that way everything's focused. Um, their efforts are focused on the, on the goal. The teaching is focused. Um, and then you're also looking at like, well, if I do this 20 times and it's super fast rolls and they're running across the field, well, what's the use of the last five if they're just beat up other than at that point, uh-huh. the, the, at that point, the choice would be, Hey guys, I know that this sucks and you're probably not playing well, We need to do this five more times, and it's all about energy and the feet. I don't even care what you sound like, but I need your feet in time. And so what I'll do is uh, I'll let them relax on certain things so they can focus on certain things. Um, And you kind of – just like with your own playing, you might work on something for a week, and you feel good about it. You move on. You come back two or three weeks later, and it's okay, but it's rusty. So it's all about um, constantly kind of woodworking. The show is the log, and as we – Every day we go out there, we're just taking shavings of wood off to present this image that no one can see yet. Um, and so some days you got to get in there and take off big chunks, but then some days you just got to get in there and sand it and step back and look at it, uh, take breaks. Um, so I think a lot of people think that reps are the way or just beating them up um, or taking breaks are the way or whatever, or writing a good show. I mean, all of those factors um, are paramount in the success of a season. Um, But I will say with a advanced group, I actually like to get mentally started uh, preseason. I like to talk to them. I like to get their uh, understand what their goals are. I like to hear about their experiences, what they liked and what they didn't like. Uh, And then I also like to prepare them physically, because if you're not prepared physically, and I don't mean just marching, I mean, chopping out, um, you're going to struggle, you know? Um, So a lot of preseason stuff for me is like what it would be if it was football. We're in the, we're in the weight room. And we're putting on meat. We're getting our diet 
<laughs> you know, tuned in and we're having meetings. Uh, we're watching film. We're discussing the playbook. All those things um, are the total package. So, uh, you know, and, and you got to know your people. You know, if you're just an a-hole and you're not, if somebody's having a rough day, you got to see that on their face and you got to pull them aside on a water break and just say, you okay? And if, if they are, they'll tell you and just tell them, hey, you look a little, you don't look like you're enjoying it. So, you know, whatever you got to do. And maybe they are having a rough day and at least you guys have exchanged that and there's a bit of empathy there. Um, and so when you do give your next comment, they're going to know that you're giving that comment because you want that thing right, not because they didn't play well because they were upset. And I think you're just not harping on them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a human element. I mean, people to get that good at something, they also want people to care that they got that good at something. Um, at least I did. And if you just show that you care a little bit, I think it goes a long way. Yeah, personally. no, I definitely did. About caring, about others caring about what I was doing, I guess. Hopefully I worded that right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. 